possible. Thank you. Hey, um, so we might have panicked when we said go ahead and make the offer. I don't know. I think now we're backtracking. <laughs> What do you see? Trees. What's inside? I can't find the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Mm, kind of see part of it there. Here, you try. See anything? Yeah, I'm looking at the window. How's it look? Mm, it does look kind of chipped. It's a little hard to tell. I mean, it could just be like... Cosmetic? Yeah, like mold. Not like bad mold, just like, um, you know, water stains. Can you see anything? No. It does look like a great shape though. We came down this street to look at a house behind us and met the owner, took a tour, and it's a cute house. We liked it. Um, but this house next door is really interesting to us and <clears throat> we really wanted to find out more about it so while we were talking to him I said what's going on with the house next door and he said that she was mean lady didn't want to talk to him and he hasn't seen her in months so we went across the street to try and get some more information about this house that is buried in the trees and the neighbor said that they hadn't seen her in months he has been on the property before and the house looks pretty good but she was an old lady and they don't know where she went and none of the neighbors know and they think maybe she was Baker acted. Which means committed to a mental institution when you're crazy. Now, hoping that's just sort of like a miscommunication or gossip and maybe she is uh, just in a nursing home, checked herself into a nursing home, not uh, was taken away by force. So we're going to try calling some nursing homes and see what we can dig up. She's not right there. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh. You never said like action or anything. You're, you've been going like this for a while, so I never know when you actually started. Is it still filming? Yeah. What? <laughs> you need to be roll. <laughs> This call is recorded. Thank you for calling. Direct you to the right department. Please listen closely to the following options. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. For all other calls, please press zero. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling. Hi, I'm wondering if you can help me. I'm trying to locate an old friend of my mother's, and I think she might be a resident there. And I was wondering. Do you have a name? Yes, I have a name. I am sorry, but I am by law not allowed to. But you know, I can't deny or say she is here. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. That's okay. Thanks yeah. for your help. Bye. Uh huh. Bye. Is that a yes? Yes. Yeah.
yes. Can't <laughs> say she is or isn't. So I called one other place before that and they told me no, she was not there. <laughs> so by law, she can say it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to email Marie and try and get in touch with her that way. Hi, Marie. I'm trying to locate you regarding your home at Beep. It's a beautiful home and I'm interested in buying it. Are you interested in selling it? My phone number is Beep. Thank you, Kristen. Address not found. Your message wasn't delivered because the address couldn't be found. The response was from the remote server was not our customer. Another dead end. Where in the world is Marie? I don't know, but we're going to do a drive-by tonight. See if any lights are on? Yes. Maybe sneak in. Just kidding. <laughs> we would never do that. Yeah. I see something glowing. The garage. The garage lights on. So the power's still on. I think we need to call the police. Tomorrow. The electric's still on. But I think nobody's home. Unless she's paying to have the power on? Yeah, maybe the AC's still on. Or she's in there. That's true too. That front room has a light on too. But her phone is disconnected and her mailbox says the house is vacant. We found out who the owner is. Her name's Marie, but we don't know where she is or what she wants to do with the house. With our move out date quickly approaching, we have to keep house hunting. I can't believe I forgot to video this whole thing, but earlier Hal got a call from the car dealership asking if he wanted to sell his car, which he's been thinking about doing. So he hopped in the car to go over there and talk to them. And on the way he saw a sign for a house for sale right around the corner from where we currently live. It's right in the location that we are interested in. And so I called the number on the sign and it hadn't even hit the MLS yet. The realtor said she'd show it to us. We had all these phone calls back and forth between our realtor and us and her. And anyway, we got to go see it. Looks kind of small. I'm not thrilled about it being close to the corner, but it is a big lot. I like that. That looks tiny. It looks really small, but I can see through the backyard, and the backyard looks huge. Oh, let me check that out. Hi. Oh, look at squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> oh, that is huge. Look at that workshop. No way. That's what I need. I don't know why I'm whispering. Very tropical. See, it's kind of noisy though in the corner. That is awesome though, look at that. Needs fencing. Needs whatever that thing is. It's like this huge long pergola. You could hitch a horse to it. The dogs would love this yard. Man, that thing is gigantic. You can go check it out. I like all the ferns. Fern Garden is my 
garden of choice. That is super cool. That is awesome. And then there's the house. Yeah. <laughs> it's listed for about $80,000 less than most houses in that area right now. <laughs> <laughs> For particular reasons, like the roof, the smell. Yeah, it's got some issues. Cracked ceiling, the <laughs> dirty kitchen. Hal's not that excited about it. Normally I would, but because we're on this quest for Casa Marie, I have blinders on. We're not really sure what to do. We told our, our realtor we want to put an offer in. It has an awesome yard. It has a workshop out back. Huge workshop. Side parking. A lot of the things we've been looking for. Block home. Super tiny. Very small. Bigger than Grove. Bigger than the one house we looked at that's now $400 million. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's some, you know, we got a, like I said, roof, ceiling, paint, yard work kitchen uh, bathroom bathroom and then we would have a very nice home in a desirable neighborhood on a big lot we could eventually put a pool in definitely room for a pool we told our, our realtor we want to put an offer in however we can't stop thinking about Casa Marie so we just hopped in the car we're going to do a drive by see how we feel <laughs> hey, um, so we might have panicked when we said go ahead and make the offer. I don't know. I think now we're backtracking. In case you couldn't tell by that text that said, do we have a way out? I think we really, really want that house. Um, and I think we're going to wait for it. So I, that's our plan. Uh, call me back or text me. Thanks. Bye. We made that offer and then we went back and sat in front of Casa Marie and we just really want that house. There's no other house. And we have a possible line on a rental and I think we're just gonna pay up for a rental for a little bit and pursue this house till the end, until they tell us no or until someone swoops in with cash from New Jersey and ruins our lives once again. We're getting that house. Yes. It's gonna be our home. Where in the world Where is Marie? Where in the world is Marie? <laughs> well, I did get the number for the guardian's attorney. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs>